One of my favorite things about Android is how often when you run across some sort of a deficiency with it, by something that is missing, a feature that you want that isn't there, you can find a workaround. You can find an application that replicates the thing that you are looking for. In this video, we're going to go over two such features. Both are things I've talked about in the past, one of which was literally years ago, and I think it's relevant once again. And the other one is just an app that I think didn't get enough attention and has been updated and is working and looking even better than before. We're talking about two things, cloning applications and then creating app pairs on pretty much any device. In this instance, we're talking about Google's Pixel Fold, where both of these features are missing. So we're going to start off with the app that I've not talked about in the longest amount of time. It's an app called App Cloner. To get this, you can check the link in the description and you will wind up on this website. Now, this app used to be in the Google Play Store, but due to some reasons, it was ejected out of the Play Store and you have to get it on their website. Now, I've used it many, many times. I've never noticed anything weird or suspicious about it. Click on that download link and it will download that APK. At that point, click on open. You may have a pop-up that asks you if you want to allow Chrome or your browser of choice to install applications. Allow that and then let that application install. From here, this is a pretty straightforward process. Let's open it up. You're going to get this pop-up. It was built for an older version of Android. We can just ignore that. We're not going to allow it to have notifications because I don't like that. And as we go through these, you'll see not all apps can be cloned, right? So some apps detect and prevent cloning. Google and Play Game logins don't work. New cloned apps are signed with a different certificate. And then, of course, there are no automatic updates for cloned applications. That should go without saying. We're not going to buy the premium version, but what we are going to do is clone our first app. Let's get through all of these pop-ups. And I'm going to do one that is maybe one no one else is going to do, but I think it would be interesting. I use Radar Omega because I am a bit of a weather nerd, and I like being able to get like really, really crazy good data about different storms. So let's click on this one. You can go ahead and change the name if you want to. So you can change it to Radar Omega Clone or Radar Omega 2. That way that you know you know which one is which. You don't really need to do too much more besides that. And let's go ahead and click on our little clone button. We do have to give it file access to do this. That does make some sense. And you get this little pop-up, which you can read. It's nothing too crazy. It's basically just telling you what it's about to do. We're going to click on OK. And it is going to begin cloning Radar Omega. So it's cloned. So now what you have is an APK to install this clone. So we're going to hit Install Application. Here's that pop-up you might have seen earlier. Let's give it permission. And it should pop up again. We can install it, and shortly we will have Radar Omega number two installed on our phone. And you can see the two different applications. It actually looks slightly different, which is odd, but you do have the little app cloner icon down there. So what does this allow me to do? Well, let me show you. We'll fire up Radar Omega, and then we're going to go into our drawer, and we're going to come down here, and we're going to grab Radar Omega number two. And we're going to throw that over there as well. And now it's running twice. So I could throw one into velocity mode, one into the uh, reflectivity, and I could really like dig deeply into this. Now this application actually has the ability to do this sort of thing if it is in a premium mode, which I'm not subscribed to. So this is sort of a workaround to let me do the exact same thing. But you can do this with a bunch of other applications. Think about messaging apps like WhatsApp or Snapchat, things that basically don't let you quickly switch your account back and forth, right? So maybe like even Amazon, maybe you have a business account and you don't like having to log out, log back in. You could just have another Amazon installed on your phone. And obviously I could make a 30 minute long video just cloning applications and showing them to you. And most of them will work, but you will run into some issues here and there. Some apps are just not going to function properly doing this. There's a little settings area down there that you may need to kind of play around with things. There's a play services fix. There's also a fix to ignore crashes and different things. So try some different things out if you do run into some crashing or some other issues. But like I said, by and large, this will work on a lot of applications. But now that you've cloned an application, maybe you want a way to launch both of these applications at the same time. You press one icon and both applications launch in split screen. Some phones have this functionality built in. Microsoft's Surface Duo has app pairs. So does the OnePlus Open. 
So do the Galaxy Z Fold devices. For whatever reason, this feature has been experimented with. We've seen it hinted at in some updates, buried in some code, but it's never been activated on Google's Pixel devices. So we're going to turn it on on the Pixel Fold using an application called Be Nice. Now, I do need to give sort of the same disclaimer for Be Nice. It works on most things, but there are some random apps that unfortunately just don't really want to work correctly. Unfortunately for me, the one that I would like most to use, my two Radar Omega clones, those are ones that just don't work. When they fire up, there's something about Radar Omega. It does not like to do this, so it just does not work. But I can show you some other things that I think do make sense and do absolutely work just fine. So when you're in this app, if you were to select one of these applications, it's just going to launch it in split screen next to Be Nice. But if you click on the little plus button down here, you'll see Create App Pair. So we're going to select the first app, and we're going to scroll down here to Keep Notes. Then we're going to select the second app, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to select Walmart because this is something I do fairly often. I've got my grocery list in Keep, and then I'm in Walmart, and I'm adding things to my cart to be delivered to the house. You can actually change how long you want it to wait to launch the second app. In case there's some sort of a compatibility issue, maybe you need to make it wait a little bit longer. That will help fix some of that. Let's go ahead and hit Create, Add to Home Screen, and you'll see it pop up right there, Keep Notes and Walmart. So let's click that. So Keep Notes fires up, it slides over, and there is Walmart. So you could begin going through your shopping and do what you need to do. And I'm sure you can think of a million different similar uses to this. What about if you're just a massive social butterfly? Let's come down here and let's grab Threads and then let's grab the second app and we will grab Twitter and let's create that as well. So let's try that. This will fire up Threads. It'll slide it over and then it will fire up Twitter and do the exact same thing again. You can imagine many, many different uses for something like this. Let's try an awesome way to just waste your entire life away. Let's do Boost, which is my Reddit application. I don't use Reddit as much as I used to, but there is still some fun to be had there. And then let's grab TikTok. Again, we're gonna waste all of our day away with this combination. Let's give that a shot. And there you go, that is working perfectly as well. Now I will be dropping a link to Be Nice into the description down below as well. So you can find both of these applications. Be Nice is in the Google Play Store, so that should make some of you feel a bit more comfortable, hopefully. One of these two applications at least are useful to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know some of the uses that you have for cloning. What apps are you planning to clone? What apps are you planning to pair? Let me know in those comments down below. I'll see you on the next one. Until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.